How long till the border? About seven more kilometers. How long of a walk is it? The way we're going, about three more hours, we're over the border. Hmm, I think we have to let the kids rest, so they don't collapse. It's not a safe place to stop. We have to continue a little more. Why is it not safe? It's completely empty here. Listen to me. You took me to get you over the border. That's what you paid me for. Then let me make decisions. where we're supposed to be. So what are the soldiers doing here? I don't know. I'm not in charge of the army. So maybe you made a mistake. That's impossible. I know this way on the back of my hand. I always travel this way. Stay here for a second. Let's stay here on the side. Come. Wait here for me. I'll be right back. How are you feeling, kids? I'll be okay. Avremo? I'm a little hungry and tired, but besides for that, it's alright. I'm alright. I can still walk a lot more. Oh, you're strong, huh? If you really feel like you can walk, go see what's going on with Stefan. Only a few steps. Don't get too far. Yaakov? Yaakov? Nachim, go see what's going on. Hey Yaakov, are you okay? Everything is fine. Let's go, we have to go. Quickly. Let's go, we'll continue. Everything's okay? Everything is fine. But we have to go fast. Come. You ready? Let's go. we do now? It's better to stay till the morning, and then we'll see what we'll do. Are you mad? Daylight will be seen. In the night, we can fall right into the soldier's ambush. But in daylight we can be seen from far. But either way it's getting light soon. I still think we should go. Is there an army base here? There is no army base here. And I have no idea what they're doing here. There's absolutely no way we can stay here. Do you have a better idea? We'll continue quietly. We'll move on and try to pass the soldiers. Okay, so you can go by yourself. I'm not going tonight. I'm pretty sure that if I wouldn't have paid you in advance, you'd continue with me. You want me to give you your money back? No, but I don't want you to leave us stranded here in the middle of nowhere. Listen, if you insist on going, then we have to split it into groups, not to attract attention. That's impossible. We're all sticking together. In that case, you can go without me. Okay. So give me my money back. I left the money at home. Okay. 
How do you want to proceed? I advise we split in two groups. I don't mind taking Yaakov. And you go ahead with your two oldest. There's no way I'm going to let you go with Yaakov alone. Menachem? Yeah. You'll join them? Okay, so how are we going to get out of here? Right now we're here. And we have to get to this point. So you go through this way. And we'll circle around the other way. Okay. Which way are we going? That way. Okay. Fine. Yaakov, you'll go with Stefan and Nachem. We'll see you soon. Okay. Ready? Oh no, father! Are you crazy? Come back! Don't kill us! Just leave me! Menachem! Menachem! We have to run away. I want my father. I'm here with you. Come, come. Where is he? What's your name? Michael Borokhov. Ah, go ahead, go right inside. Yeah? Oh, hello, welcome. Hello, hello. Please, have a seat. Hello, welcome. sir. Come, Michael. Welcome. What's your name? Michael. Michael what? Michael Borokhov. Is he your son? Oh uh, yeah. He doesn't know how to answer? Uh, it's okay, you can ask him. <laughs> how old are you, Michael? I'm 17. Where did you study this year? We just came from Russia. Okay, and uh, what grade were you in in Russia? 11th. You completed the year? Uh, almost. But he was an honor student. He has a good diploma. Can I see it? Yes, of course. Sure. But we only have a copy of the paper, not the original. It's a little problem to get into 12th grade, but uh, I hope it'll work out. Is the mother Jewish? Of course. The father? Yes. You, uh, you don't look like... Uh, he looks more like his mother. Can you show me some ID? What, mine and my wife's? Yes, and the boys. Okay, give him. Yeah. This is mine. And my wife's. My wife. I'm just gonna go photocopy these. Okay.
I would really like that in addition to Jewish study, Michael will also study courses before the army. Ah, you're referring to our pre-military courses. Yeah, pre-military. He's very good in electronics. Well, there are some exams, but if he passes, there's no problem. Great, now you have a Jewish place, a great place. If we decide to accept him, we would start on the 1st of September. Why if? No, hopefully everything will be okay. Oh, uh, okay. We just have to check a couple of things, and we'll send your reply by mail. Oh, thanks a lot. Thank you. All the best to you. Thank you, thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much, sir. We'll keep in touch. Thank you for your time. You're here for me? Yes. I brought my son, Alex Cooperman. Oh, you spoke to me on the phone. Yes. Please, come in. Thank you. We have two new students here. What are your names? I'm Michael. Alex. Alex and Michael, welcome. Have you ever learned in a religious school? No. Okay, come to me at the end of class. We'll see what you know and how we can help you. Everyone, please open your Gemaras. Amar Rabba Bar Rav Huna, Amar Rav Huna. V'derch she'adam reitzei lelech ba ma'ilichim, I say. In Parshas Balak it says that Hashem told Bilam lo se'lechim ahem. Need any help? If you could help me with this drawer, I would be grateful. No problem. Hey, thanks. So how's it going? Very good. What grade are you in? Me? In the eighth year. And how do you like it? Yeah, there are a lot of great things here. Like what? On the one hand, we study Judaism. On the other hand, we study electronics and other subjects on a high level. There's some sort of pre-military course, no? Yeah, in electronics. Does everybody join the military courses? Not everyone, usually the best students, and the ones willing to sign with the army for a year. Where are you guys from? Nutrat Elite. No, where are you from in Russia? Ah, Kiev. I'm from Kiev. Michael's also from there. Ah, we lived in Uzbekistan. Ah, which part of Uzbekistan? We moved here when I was little, I don't remember. Oh, I see. Uh, hello? Hello. What are you doing here? We're not allowed to be here. It's an army base. You can't take pictures. We're not doing anything. Listen, I don't want to argue with you. You can't be here. Just leave this place. Now. Okay. Okay. Why are you getting upset? Go ahead. Back up. And finally, the middle man, he is the one who is not influenced by the bad so that it overcomes him. A man whose level is in the middle has good and also bad. The difference between them is that the bad is not able to run the body. It only tries to influence him to do bad things. Whereas the good controls the body. It causes it to think good thoughts, say good things, and do good deeds. That's it for today. I have the last test over here. Who got the highest score? There's a surprise in here. The person who got the highest score, Alex Cooperman. Wow. wow. Ellie. Thank you. Sro. Thanks. If I'd have known you were such a genius, I'd have copied off of you. Tomorrow's our real test in electronics. Hell yeah. We better get ready for that tonight. Yeah.
Yo, can you give me the calculator? Take. Aren't you going to sleep? We've got an important test tomorrow. There's a test tomorrow? In what? In uh, electronics. You sure? It's an entry exam for the military course. Ah, and you guys are ready to take the exam? We're hoping. I heard from the teachers that you're making real progress. Is the light bothering you? If you could use a small light, it'd be nice. Where are you? I've got all this left. Finish and we'll go over it together. I will. And now for the daily halacha. Betfila and aposek lo lekadesh velo lekdusha el al yishtok v'yichaven l'mashomer ashatz v'nechshav keone l'inyan sheyetze. During Shmon Esrei, you should not stop for kadesh or kedusha, but stay quiet and be mechaven to what the shliach tzibur is saying. O mikom akom la vehefsek, and it's not considered a hefsek. Vafilu krau lalus la Torah aser la hafsik. Even if he was called up to the Torah to make a bracha, he is not allowed to stop. And now a few announcements. Tomorrow morning at nine o'clock we'll have orientation for eleventh and twelfth grades for those taking astronomical physics. At three o'clock we'll gather in the auditorium. After that you'll start your weekend vacation. Another important announcement is that tomorrow the representatives from the army will be here in order to administer the test for the pre-military course. Have a nice day. How many pieces are missing for the mechanism? Besides for the one you got from me. Uh-huh. The second part we got. Now I'm just hoping that we'll be able to get the third and the... I have to finish up. We'll speak a little later. Oh, hello guys! Hey! <laughs> oh, Hi. hello! How We're are you? Great. Good. We took the exam for the electronics course. How did it go? Very good. You too, Alex. We studied well for it. Genius is here! <laughs> good for come, you. Come. Bravo. Come, come inside. Alex Cooperman, Moshe Grinchowski, Michael Borachov, and Yisrael, please go to the office. Did we do something? No, everything's fine. The principal just wants to speak to you. Moshe, I told you you get caught. For what? Kidding. Maybe they'll just put you up a class. <laughs> so now you have a difference of two years. Why two years? Because he'll skip a grade, and Ellie will stay back a grade. <laughs> <laughs> yes? Hello. Oh, good. Come sit down. Hello. How are you guys? Baruch Hashem. Everything's good. I've got some news. Some of it is good news. And some depends on you. You all got high scores in the pre-military course exam. That's the good news. But now... There's a little problem. The score started last year already, and now there's too many students taking the class. So why do we take the test? We didn't want to prevent anyone who's interested in taking the course from at least taking the test. It's why the army deliberately made a difficult test. But you guys surprised and did very well on the test. Well, the main reason we came to the school is so that we can take this course. That's what you think. The real reason you came to this school is to study Judaism. That's your purpose here. Either way, there's no way we're not accepted in this course. What about you? I don't really care about taking this course. I never really wanted to go. So why did you take the exam? Because my father pressured me. Hmm. 
Okay, so, uh, Moshe and Israel, you go back to class. We'll try to make it up to you. Okay, so Alex and Michael, the truth is that you guys got the highest scores on the test. And the ones in charge of this course said that whoever really pushes to get in, they'll take him. So can we go? Yeah. Awesome. Yes. Hello. Hello. What's going on? How are you? Hello. Okay. Good. How are you? This? When are we getting the third part? There are still two more parts you need to get. So when are we gonna get them? We'll know the schedule of the mechanism. It'll take a few more weeks. Hey, baby, but the main part is still missing. Listen, the system's brain is going to be harder to get. Don't worry, we'll be able to get it for you. Yalla. A little patience, it's done Shvaya, guys. Okay, it's done Shvaya. How Shvaya. much money is in here? Uh, $5,000. Why $5,000? We spoke about 10000 This is what we're able to get. Ahmed, why don't you tell me that? I forgot. Forgot, yalla. I'm not stealing from you, huh? It'll be yalla. okay. Yalla, don't worry. Bye, what say you? Thank you. Put it in the trunk. Don't worry, it's okay. Hello, good morning everyone. We'll soon be joined by a representative of the anti-tank division and he's going to give you a small introduction as to what's in store for you guys this upcoming year. Meanwhile, Avner, could you come up please? Could you hand these out please? Thanks. We have two new students with us. Alex Cooperman and Michael Borokhov. Who's who? Alex. Alex. Michael. Michael, great. Oh. Yeah, hi. hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Coming in. Alright guys, this is Danny. He's from the Army's Anti-Tank Division. And he's going to give you guys an introduction to what's going to happen during the new school year and the importance of this course. Go ahead. Uh, hello everyone, uh, my name is Danny. I'm here to give you a short summary of what you'll be learning during the course of this year. This year, in addition to the regular curriculum, you'll be learning about a new anti-tank missile that's been developed in Sahal. The missile's abilities and components you learn about during the course of the year. But until then, it's important to note a small change in the course of study. This year, you'll take part in the manufacturing process of the missile itself. What, we're going to make the missile right here? <laughs> no, don't get your hopes up. But the missile is made of many parts, where each one is made in a different part of the country. But you'll get a chance to build a small component that's part of the missile's brain. Oh, that's it? I thought we'd be able to bomb Gaza. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Moshe! Ah, Yohanan! So, how's it going? Great. How's the learning? The friends? Is it all good? In studies, I'm second in my class. Baruch Hashem. And there are two new guys that are my roommates now. You get along with them? Yeah, it's all good. I'm very happy to hear. Anyone have any questions? Nope, no questions. Nope. No. No. Okay. So, I'll now hand out a sketch of the missile we'll be learning about this year. Can someone come over and hand them out? Thank you. Has everyone signed a confidentiality form? Yeah, everyone signed. Oh, perfect. What about the two new guys? We already signed. Ah, you already signed. Okay. You signed by the office? Yeah. Okay, great. Perfect. Great. Uh, if so, I hope you have the greatest year you can have and lots of luck. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks a lot. Yeah, you hear? Yeah, I already mm -hmm. told you on the phone. Okay, I'll speak to him on the phone. Okay, so we'll speak again. Okay, thank, thank you. for coming. Bye bye. Bye. Thanks. 
Sir, how come we're making a small component? What, just to make us feel good? They should let us make something big, not just a tiny microchip. <laughs> tiny microchip. Let me tell you something. In Judaism, there's no such thing as a tiny microchip. Every component has an important part in creation. For example? You want an example. Take the fuse. It's a very small part in a very big car. <clears throat> but what will happen if that small fuse blows? Take even a new truck with a new engine. If that fuse blows, the truck can't even travel one foot. Who is that in the lobby, your father? My uncle Moshe. Your family is Haredi? Yeah, well, my father was a Hasid. How did he die? He was killed when my family was moving towards the border in Russia. So this uncle raised you? My uncle Moshe is a tzaddik. For years he would help my family out. What does he do? He saves Jews that have fallen to missionaries, and other good things that he keeps quiet about. He's a tzaddik, your uncle. Yeah, he's a great man. Hello? Ahmed! Yes, who's this? How are you? It's Ivan. Oh, good, what's going on? I have some good news for you. Yes, what? We managed to get our own men into the, uh... Yes, I understand. How long is it gonna be till they get it out? I don't know. But I think if we get an advance payment, it might be able to hurry things up a little bit. I'll give you whatever you want as long as you give me all the parts. Fifteen thousand dollars would really help. No problem, no problem. I'll send you my man in Jerusalem to give you okay. the money. Okay, thank you. Bye. The electrical system of the missile is divided into control, guidance, and sensor. What this tells us is that the electrical workings are actually an assortment of components that help us in hitting our target. And here guys, here's where our help comes in when building the missile. A missile deviates during its launch and we have to make up for that deviation so that we can ensure the missile has a clean hit. And for this exact reason, there is a guidance system that provides correction control to make sure it doesn't miss its target. But all of this will wait for the next lesson. And meanwhile guys, let's see how this detailed explanation of the missile can help us in Avoid Hashem. That we need to drop bombs on our enemies. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, it says in the Gemara that a good Mida is 500 times better than a bad one. So if by pressing a small button on the missile, we can make such destruction, so too, a small press of a button we can do good that's 500 times better than the meter of destruction. For example, we can take a Torah shear and we can broadcast it all over the world. We have all these parts already. Now all we need is that little component that you make at your school. All it is is a small component. A small component? But without it, the missile doesn't work. You already have the rest of the pieces? We have the two main parts. We're still missing two main parts. A big part and a small part. Ours is a small one. Yes, but it looks like that we'll be able to get the big part very soon as well. It'll take at least two weeks till we even start building the component. Let it take even a month. As long as you act smart. Don't worry. You'll get it very soon. Okay guys, I brought the test. Ah, uh, I probably got the highest score. 
The highest from the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> there is someone who surprised again and got a hundred on the test. Who got a hundred? Alex Cooperman. Hey. Wow. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Alex, you didn't tell us you were a genius. Who needs this? Thank you. Alex, I'm impressed. So you're doing pretty well in your test, huh? Alex is a genius. Could we study together for the test? Whenever you want. You know there's a birthday party for Oleg? Where's the party? It's at his house. We have permission from the counselor. I think we're going to stay here. We've got exams all week. Yeah, suit yourself. Yochnan, where are you going? Just keep going, I'll go this way. I got it. Okay, let's go. boys let's go who's here Yochanan Yochanan let's go wake up out of bed Alex let's go let's go out of bed Michael you're late get up Yochanan what's wrong with you guys wake him up everyone up everyone up Yochanan get up Good morning, good morning. Oh, good, you're already up. Yochanan, what's the matter? Wake up. Mm, no, I don't feel well. I feel weak. What happened? You had too much to drink at the party? I feel weak. I need another hour. An hour? Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Put on to fill in, and then go back to sleep, okay? Okay. Good, we have a deal. Guys, you're up. Good.
Classified military material? Why would they need this? Did Ahmed? Yes. He's probably avoiding me. Listen, he paid five thousand dollar. If he plays any games, he'll lose the five thousand. Let's try Nasser. You can try. It's Ivan, huh? Hey, I work. Hello. Nasser. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Who is this? It's Ivan, Ivan. Ah, Ivan! How are you? Did you get everything? Pretty soon, very soon. But I don't think I'm gonna give you guys the components. But why? Why? Ahmed promised me that he's sending me $15,000. And meanwhile I didn't get anything. That can't be. Ahmed sent you someone with the money. What does that mean? We're waiting here in the car for a long time and nobody is here. Okay, so now I'll talk to Ahmed, I'll tell him. Nasser, Nasser, you listen to me. Yes. You tell Ahmed that if he doesn't send me $15,000, he doesn't get anything. He can look for someone else if he wants. Yes, okay. Why are you angry? You get everything. Don't worry. Guys, the teacher's not coming. No class. Oh, yes. Yeah. All right. Everyone, stay in their seats. Come on. Why don't you come play basketball with us? We already know our stuff for today. Let us play. All right. I'll let you guys go, but first I'll tell you a story. You tell us stories all day. Come on. Let us play. We already know your stories. This is one story for sure you don't know. Come on. Let's go. Don't waste any time. Five minutes and you're out. Oh, oh man. Oh. Once, in communist Russia, the government clerks filled the streets holding huge sacks filled with gold coins and stood around. The Russian government announced this was a gold coin operation. Any person that had money in his possession, paper money, could come to any one of the clerks lined up in the streets, give him the paper money that he's got, and instead get gold coins in return. The Russian authorities claimed that this operation was meant to show everyone that the Soviet currency is as strong as ever. Swarms of people showed up for the trade. Each one brought their paychecks, all their savings, and they traded their money for gold coins. Not one of them took the time to think for a second as to why the government suddenly became so generous. Each man took the gold that they gave him and he went on his way. One of the people that showed up that day was a Jew, a Hasid, Rav Avram Shmuel. He brought all the rubles he'd been saving his entire life and changed them for gold coins. 157 gold coins is what Rab Shmuel got from the Russian clerk. It was an enormous amount. He'd been saving money his entire life for a rainy day. Anyhow, Rab Shmuel hid the money he got in a safe place. And then... And then someone stole all his money. <laughs> nah, nice try. On one fine day, a new order came down. Anybody in possession of any gold coins needs to immediately hand them over to the authorities. At first it seemed, okay, no big deal. Each person would bring one gold coin and give it to the government. But this evil government, while people came to trade in their money for coins, they kept tabs on them from the side, on every person who showed up for the offer. And this way they had information and neatly arranged files as to how many coins each person has. At the same time, a rumor was going around that Rabbi Yosef Yitzchak Melabavich promises that whoever decides to donate the gold coins in his possession towards keeping up the yeshivas 
won't see any harm from the authorities. This was not an easy test. 157 gold coins. But Rabbi Shmuel didn't hesitate. He informed his wife that he's going to take over all the gold coins and donate them to Yeshiva's Tom Chetzmimim that's next to their house. He knew that doing this would make him a poor man because a job he's not going to find in the near future and the Russians are going to be after him. But he didn't hesitate. He went and donated the entire sum to the Yeshiva. Rabbi Shmuel was confident in the Rebbe's bracha and stayed at his house. One day, the authorities came knocking at his door. They were looking for him. And? He was miraculously saved. Could we leave? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. The rest of the story I'll have to finish a different time. You can go out and play. Yes! Yes! Yeah. yes. So how are the new students? Michael still has a lot to improve. Yeah? But Alex is really putting in the effort in the Mude Kodesh. Oh yeah, you can see that? Oh certainly. Excuse me? Yes? Could you tell me the rest of the story? You're curious about the ending? Very. After Rav Shmuel donated the money to the yeshiva, he sat at home and waited for something good to happen. One day, the Russians knock on his door. And that's how he was saved. I met up with Anatoly. Oh, yeah? I gave him the stuff. That's good. They want the component very soon. The Arabs are waiting for it. What's up, Alex? What's up? You seem strange. I'm not feeling so good. You want me to call the counselor? No, just leave it. What do you feel? I'll be okay. Should I get you anything? Where are you going? Getting some air.
I can see something's bothering you. What makes you think that? I'm not thinking. I can see it. I don't know what you're seeing, but nothing's bothering me. Is that why you're walking around the courtyard going nowhere? You don't have to tell me. That's not what it is. It's just sometimes you get surprises that take time to digest. It's true. I also had a surprise once. What surprise? For many years I thought my uncle was my real father. Only five years ago did I find out that my father was murdered. While my family was crossing the border in Russia. How were you able to cross? The guy that was bringing us across told my father he didn't want any money until everyone was already crossed. This guy knew that my father had money in his bag. After we all crossed, he killed my father and ran with the money. Everybody's got their own baggage. I just told you about mine. Now it's your turn. It's not important. So what is important? What's important is that I should get stronger and keep Torah and mitzvos. And what's new? You didn't have to do that until now? I can't explain it. What are you doing? Getting dressed. Where are you going? To the synagogue. What time is it? 5.30. What are you going to do in the synagogue so early? I don't know. I'm already up. Yochanan, I'm going. Wait, I'm coming with you. Come, I want to leave. Where did you go this morning? Don't speak during prayer, huh? You went to the mikvah. Went to the mikvah? How nice. Says the Mishnah. לא יש אבדם לפני הסאפר סמך למנחה, ולא יחנה סאדם למרחץ, ולא לבורסקאי. What's a בורסקאי? A place where they tan leather. Very good, Alex. Let's continue. ולא לאכול, ולא לדין. How come we can't do these things? Rashi explains it. It'll get late and this mantvila will pass. But the Mishnah continues that if one started one of these things, he doesn't stop. But to read Kriya Shema, even if he started, he must stop and read Shema. Why do we stop for Kriya Shema and not for Davening? Who can answer him? Yes, Alex. Because Kriya Shema is the Arisa, and Tefillah is the Rabbanan. I see you decided to become Jewish. These traditions look interesting to me. Tell me, are you crazy? What's wrong? What's wrong? You're a goy. What do you need all this stuff for? Because I feel like learning. Find out more about the Jews. What, you don't pray and learn? How can you compare? I'm putting on a show so it seems that I'm one of them, but you, you're letting it get to you. Well, I like it. You got a problem? Of course I've got a problem. Just do me a favor. Drop it.
Oh, what's up, Alex? Yochanan. Yep. Can I speak to you for a second? Sure, what's up? Do you know how to keep a secret? Usually I can. I found something out, and I can't cope with it. I need help. What's up? You remember the story the teacher told us this week about Shmuel, that donated his money to the yeshiva? Yeah. Rabbi Shmuel is my grandfather. You're kidding. Not at all. Unbelievable. Wait, it's not all. It's this story that made me realize I'm Jewish. What do you mean? You came here as a guy? Even worse. In what way is it worse? Soon I'll tell you. How were you accepted here? Forged documents. Your parents aren't Jewish? I don't have parents. I don't understand. Promise me that you'll try to help me and won't turn me in. I'll try whatever I can. You're the only one in the school I can trust. Two years ago, we were sent to Israel to help out the Arabs. To try to get the Arabs' military information. Hello? Uncle Moshe. Yes. Who is this, Yochanan? Yeah. Yochanan, how are you? Baruch Hashem. So what's going on? You need something? I have something important to tell you. What is it? You think you can come here to the yeshiva? Is it urgent? Yeah, very. Hey, come on in. Hi. How are you? Where is Alex? Michael, привет. How are you? Good. Where is Alex? Stayed at school. And so? Do you have the components? Very soon. We've already started manufacturing them. How long do you think it'll take? A few weeks? A few months? Two weeks. But there's something else I have to tell you. What happened? It's about Alex. What's wrong with Alex? He started acting like a Jew. Uh, but you also make yourself as if you're Jewish. No, no. He's taking things very seriously. He's doing things they're not asking him to do. For example? He goes to the mikveh in the morning, he prays better than our rabbi, in Torah he gets the highest marks. You need more than that. What's wrong with him? Is he crazy? The Chechens looked for volunteers in order to help the Muslim Arabs in Israel. That's how they got to Ivan. Ivan's been wanting to come here for years. Now he had a chance to get a sponsor and to make a lot of money on the way. How did you suddenly remember that you're Jewish? Was it some story that you heard that made you realize? It's not like that. Now as I'm going through it, I'm starting to understand why my father always told us this story so many times. The situation was bad for Russian Jews. People were afraid to say they were Jewish. My father was afraid that we'd forget that we're Jewish. That's why he chose this story with a family connection, to show us self-sacrifice. He engraved it in our heads pretty good. And I understand that Ivan raised you? Yeah. And what happened to your family? They... My family... We tried crossing the border with Ivan, and... My family. <laughs> Father. Listen to me. You can't show Alex that you suspect him at all. Act normal with him. You take the components without involving Alex, without him knowing about it. And then after you get the components, you'll bring it here with Alex, and we'll take care of the problem. What are you going to do? Don't worry. 
It will be fine. Hello. Ahmed. Ah, yeah, Habibi. Prepare the money. Two more weeks and you'll have everything for the missile. The money is here already. You just have to give me the parts. Up to two weeks. Now listen, I want to get all the money at the time I give you everything. No problem. Uh, how much is left? $30,000. All right, well, listen, I'll give you half at the exchange and half when I see that everything is working. No, 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 no. You'll give me everything at the handoff. If not, no money, we have no deal. Okay, okay. Good. Two more weeks. Okay. The Mishnah ends by saying, Ein mafsik in Latvila. So now we have Akasha. The Mishnah already said earlier that we don't stop for davening once we start it. So, why are we repeating it again? New Alex, you have an idea? Lately you've had some pretty good answers. I did. The last part, Ein mafsik in Latvila, is talking about a different kind of person. One who learns Torah all day. Like Rashbi Vechaverov, that they don't stop for davening, but they do, however, stop for Kriyashma. Good morning, good morning. Come on, boys, let's go. Yochanan, come on, get up. Time to rise and shine. Okay, okay, okay. Who's here? A let's go. Let's go. Wake up. Out of bed. Okay. Wake I'm up. All... Wake up. Wake up. Michael. Michael. Come on. Let's go. Everybody up. Come on. Come on. Wake up. Everybody up. Come on. Let's go. Good morning. Time to get up. So you're not swimming in the mikveh today? Nah. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, at first I got excited with all this stuff. Now it's all gone. Well, I'm glad you stayed normal. Hello. Anatoly, it's Michael. Yes, Michael, what's up? Everything's good. I wanted to tell you that Alex is okay now. What do you mean? He realized that it's a crazy idea and that it's not for him, so I think it's okay for me now to include him. How do you know that he is uh, back to normal? I saw it in a few things. Plus, he himself told me that he doesn't know what came over him. If this is really the case, then you can use his help. But be careful, he doesn't have to know everything. Okay. Okay, good luck. We'll see you. I'll see you. What was that? He said that Alex expect off this whole Jewish thing, and he's back to his normal self. Huh. I don't think I believe it. Why not? 
Because I know what the Jews are made of. If he found out he's Jewish, and I don't know how, he won't leave it. It's like a magnet. I saw it in Russia, up close. How does he even know he's Jewish? You raised him. I don't know. But what I do know is, is that if he really found out, and he started doing all these things of the Jews, I'm telling you from experience, he's not going to stop. He simply won't leave it until one day you'll see him walking with a beard on his face and tzitzis. What do you propose we do? I don't know. It's a shame you told Michael to include him in the plan. I can call them back and tell them to forget it. No. No, it could be very interesting if you'll come here with the components. What's up? It's not going. No? Could be they changed the locks? Okay, okay, so come. What? I have the keys to the bars. We didn't make a mistake in the new model. Worst case, you can just make a new one. I don't know. The guys worked so hard on it, I don't think they'll want to repeat it. So listen, you can tell them it came out good. We just need to make more to compensate for the new changes, that's all. Ah, that's a good idea. Hmm, where's the key? What, for the closet? Yeah, I put it here. Strange. Found it? Oh, wow. Where could it be? Yuvav, is this the key? Hmm, Yuvav, Yuvav, is this the key? Is see. it? Yeah, where was it? Right here on the table. That's strange. All right. Oh, wow. I see you managed to make a bunch. Nice, huh? Yeah. You want them all? No, no, I just need one model. Okay. connection yeah, yeah that's nice yeah I noticed that very nice they put in a lot of work very nice just going for a stroll around here do you have permission we'll be right back bring a note and you can leave come on what's the big deal we're just gonna hang around here by the fence these are my instructions I got do you want them to fire me go bring a note come what do you think we should do let's jump the back fence Who's there? It's Michael. It's done. We did it. What are you doing here so late? We brought everything. Are you serious? Yeah, it's done. You did it. Anatoly, they brought everything. What do you see? But why didn't you tell us? We would have come to pick you up. It all happened too fast. Oh, look at this. <laughs> you actually got it. Good for you. Bravo. Wow, finally. Did you tell your school that you're leaving? No, we snuck out. We didn't tell them. 
They're gonna make problems. We're gonna go back there now. But where do you have to go? You don't have to go back now. We'll all go together. So the Arabs can give you a prize for your big effort. And then you'll go back to school. But we didn't tell them that we're late. Everything will be okay. Don't worry. Start loading up the car and we'll go. You should first call Ahmed. See if he can make it now. By the time we get there, it'll be 7 in the morning. But if he can't come at 7, we'll just be waiting. We're gonna leave now. And Ahmed is gonna come whenever I tell him. Yes. Alan. Ahmed sent me. Who are you? He can't make it. Did you bring the money? He told me he will send you the money tomorrow. In the morning. Don't worry. No problem. Then tomorrow he'll get the package. No, wait. You can't give it to me now. I'm already here. Are you crazy? Tell him he brings me the money and I'll give him the package. No money and no package. One second. Maybe you can speak to him. Call him. You can try. Maybe he'll answer you. Uh, okay. Wait here. Hello? Ahmed. Listen. He doesn't want to go to the end of the day. Ah, you talked to him? لا بحكيت معه بس هو ما بده يسمع طيب قول له قول له انا بيجي كمان كم ساعه نعم tell him if he doesn't come two o'clock no more deal هو قال بس انت ما تيجي حتى ساعه اثنين وهو بحلص كله طيب قول له انا بطلع في ساعه اثنين نعم he, he said he will come here two o'clock نعم نعم اوكي يلا نشوفك اوكي نشوفك Okay. Okay, we'll wait here. جيب السيارة لا بكرة روح جيب السيارة طيب طيب What are you reading? Nothing. Let me see. It's personal. Hello, Ivan. It's Ahmed speaking. Yes. Yes, Ahmed. Uh, so I sent Nasser to bring the car. He doesn't come back. What do you want me to do? Uh, so wait for me a little. Till three, I'm by you. And at three, you'll tell me that you have a flat tire and then at four... Why do you say that? At three o'clock, I'll see you. Okay, so let's go. Come here already. Why, well, okay, Ivan.
I know what I was talking about. He's asleep. He has a Jewish prayer book. Really? How do you explain it? I'm afraid I can't change the facts. I'm sorry. مش ممكن مش يعني بيجي السيارة في بوليس هون بوليس؟ ايه بدوه يعني خفيف طب تعال نمشي عليهم Anatoly, we have some guests. Okay. Alan, Alan, how are you? What's going on? Hello. Hello, Is Ashley. everything okay? I'm doing good. Good. This, all the parts are here. This is everything. This is everything, huh? This is everything. You don't have to worry. Yeah, either way, you don't understand this. Give it to your engineer, it'll be okay. Tayeb, okay, okay. Yalla. Yalla, yes, thank salami. you. Thank you very yeah. much. Where is the money, Ahmed? What money? Yeah, what money? The money we deserve. <laughs> money. <laughs> the money he deserves. <laughs> Yalla, see you. Thank you. Ya Habibi, ta'al. Alex. Let's go out of the car. I want to speak to you for a minute. What's the matter? I want to ask you a few questions. You can ask now. Not next to Anatoly and Michael. Let's go. Ivan! So what? You turned us in, huh? What are you talking about? What am I talking? Very soon you'll know what I'm talking about. You're completely surrounded! Put your hands up and slowly come out! Put your hands up! There's no way out! Let's go! Anatoly! Stop!
Get out of the car now! Get out of the car! Get out! Get out of the car! Hands up! Get your hands, hands up, up, I said! So you planned on betraying us, huh? You'll pay for everything. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Ivan and the kid are right between us. You saw them? Yes. They're hiding behind one of the bushes. Okay, make your way to them, but be careful. Real careful. We don't want the kid getting hurt. <clears throat> and now you can start praying to your god. I don't think he's gonna help you now, but maybe you can try. In the meantime, he's helping me see who you really are. I don't know what you found out, but you're ungrateful and a traitor. After I raised you like my son for all these years. You raised me? You called me a traitor, how dare you? You executed my entire family. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? You brought my family to the Romanian border. You thought that I would forget all those times you betrayed my family. I don't trust this, Stefan. I don't like the way he looks. Sokol, Sokol, Yastrep. You'll be able to catch them soon. My father! Where's my father? I want my father! Where's my father? And where are my brothers? Where are they? Father! Father! Where are my brothers? Where are they? I want my father! Where's my father? I want him! Stop! You're trying to sneak across the border, huh? How dare you betray Mother Russia like that? Hey, kid! <laughs> it's the end of the road for you, Jew boy! Please don't kill him! Silence! Are you also a Jew? No! So shut your mouth! Otherwise I kill you! No! No, don't hurt him! Shut your mouth, I told you! Or else you want me to hurt you as well! I'm telling you! He'll be loyal to Mother Russia! I'll raise him! I promise he'll be a good soldier to Russia! You won't be sorry, just don't kill him! I'll give you one chance! If within a year this child will really be loyal to our mother Russia, I won't hurt you. But if you won't succeed, then I'll kill you both! Okay. I understand, sir. I promise. You see who the real traitor is now? With that act you put up for those soldiers? You were only six years old. I sent you to communist school. How can you remember so many details? How can you remember? Over the years... You betrayed yourself a few times and made things clear. Ivan, come out with your hands on your head. You have no choice. Drop your weapon and come out with your hands on your head. If you want Alex alive, then you better get out of here, you understand me? If you hurt him, you won't come out alive. You don't have much time. You're a traitor, ungrateful. All those years I worried for you. I raised you like my own son. Yeah? You made a deal with the Russian army. You know you made up with them that my family would get killed and they'll leave me so that you could take me. You buried my soul and then you raised me. And all because you didn't have kids of your own. You spilled blood. I spilled blood, huh? Soon I'll show you what's spilling blood. Ivan, we're coming in. You can surrender now. If you want Alex alive, then you better get out of here. Get away. How did you find out that you're Jewish? What does it matter? Maybe it doesn't matter anymore, but before I kill you, I'm curious to know... How is it after you were raised in a normal school without a normal holidays? Where did it pop into your head that you're Jewish? Where? You're a guy. You'll never understand it. What do you care to tell me? Pretty soon you're going to be dead. You may kill my body, but my connection with the Kaddish Baruch Hu, with my God, you can never ever harm. You can't explain this bond. Ivan, you've got one more minute. If I kill you, you won't have connection to anything. A Jew has two worlds. Olam Azeh and Olam Abba. But an animal like you... Once you die, nothing will remain. Hey, an animal, huh? Animal. Don't move! 
Don't, Don't move, move, I said. Let's go. Hurry up. I'm not allowed to worry. I know that worrying is a bad need, but I'm worried. I'm worried. All my produce, it all went to waste. It all rotted. How am I supposed to bring Parnassa to my family with only one cow? Trying to run away, huh? Money for no. lottery tickets you have, huh? What are you talking Where's about? Where's a thousand coins? If you get your hands off of me, I'll give it to you. Get your hands off me. The guys are here. Under Nazi rule. What are you doing? Who's that? A new partisan? Him? Not just a partisan. Faith, insistence, that's what holds us Jews together. When all that remains is faith. Be ashamed of yourself! When children's lives are in danger. Yeah, it's about time the Germans had some losses. This project must succeed. Do you know why we're lucky? Because we have faith in God. The Partisan. No, Moishele, hurry up! Okay, Abba, I'm coming. Help! I'm burning! Ow, help! Abba, help me! My hand's on fire! Moishele!
And now, I am honored to call up the student of honor who learned 10 Masechtos of Mishnayos by heart. And he is the runner-up for Hassan Mishnah. Please welcome the honorary student, Ariel Malka! Tell me, how come? Why is it in my school that they don't teach us about our heritage? How come they teach us about the history of the Greeks, of the Turkish, and even that of the Arabs? Why is it just my nation's history we don't learn about? That's not your place. If you don't agree, then I... I've got ownership papers proving that I'm owners of this place. I'll take it out for free. So for your sake. Boom. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Put it out right away! Put out the fire! This you thief! This place doesn't belong to you! Nothing's gonna help you! This place doesn't belong to you! You've pressured us a bit too much. Nothing's gonna help you! I've got another copy of this at home! This place belongs to my family! You said you don't have another copy. I knew I couldn't trust you! Now you went too far. It's not gonna help you! My family's gonna look for me here! We both know that you hid this whole thing from your family. Take him! What are you doing here, huh? Well, I'm cleaning the desk. Cleaning the desk? Nobody told you not to clean up this room? No, nobody told me anything. In that room, those people have there a bag that's full of jewelry. I'm sorry, I can't help you. What's that supposed to mean you can't help? You got fish? You got boats for your guests? You already got your money's worth for this. So what do you mean you can't help? Someone took it! You were the only ones who were in this room. Nobody came in Don't here since. Don't try to convince me! Someone took it! Okay, okay, but why are you so hysterical? Because it had something valuable! You better leave the hotel. You don't want to leave together? You shouldn't. They're planning on hurting me and my father, and you may also be involved. What? How do you know all this? Money for your wedding! I don't want this money anymore! Forget this money! No! no! 